Hello, this is Hoffman Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily animate text in Blender Just Text uh, by using this add-on called the Easy Text Animation Add-on. It only works for text, it doesn't work for models. Uh, but it's an add-on you have to pay for, and it's not too bad when it comes to the price, it's just $3 to $4. Uh, but for the price, what it can do is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, I'm using Blender 3.4. It can be used for Blender 3.1 all the way to 4.1. And the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, Install. Uh, navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system. And I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can download yourselves and give it a look-see. And click on Install Add-on. And once you've done that, put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's on the right hand side of the UI of Blender, which is right here. Uh, it renders in Eevee and in Cycles, but we're just going to stick with Eevee just for the sake of this tutorial. But we're going to click on our cube here, make sure that's activated, and press delete to get rid of that. And the good thing about this add on is that you don't have to use Blender's built in font system, so to speak, or text system to import text into this. Uh, Blender UI, and you can do all that right here. So we're going to left click here, and I'm going to type in Trifold Productions, enter, and then create Easy Text. Eh, okay, Easy Text. I thought there was going to be more of there, but just Easy Text. And we're going to press one on our keyboard, left click and drag on our hand gives it more to center our uh, text here. And then we press play. Look at that. It just does it. It just does it automatically. There's no sweating involved. There's no you know brainstorming. It's just you know click and play pretty much plug and play so to speak. Now you can see yourself. Well, where are the options for me to actually make adjustments to my text? And in order to do that, you have left click on your text, and there are your options. Now we're going to go into Eevee so we can see. Uh, what this looks like in Eevee and so we can actually apply material to it so you can see what the material looks like. You can't you can't apply text but you can apply material. So let's click on our option there for our to change our U, UI interface there, the, the uh, view there. And we're going to scroll down and click on the material option there and left click on new. We're gonna name this I mean name this text mat enter and then we're going to click on the white part there, that white option there, and it'll pop up our color wheel. And I'm going to choose red and then pull away from that. You can say to yourself, well, you don't see any changes there. But in order to see the change here, left click in this option here, the slots, material slot, left click in there and click on that text tool that we just made. And there it is. Let's uh, change our world uh, color so we can see the text better. Left click on the world option there left click in the color because it's gray now I'm going to pull up to a kind of a whitish color which is fine and there we go now you can also change the font with this add-on in this slot here but you have to click on the folder and then once this window pops up click on fonts and all the fonts that are on your computer will pull up here will come up here let's left click on that one and click on operator and it changes our font to that and it's got a lot of options here you can change the size of uh, your text, the thickness. You can align it on the horizontal axis, which is from left to right, um, to left, center, right, just five, flush, so on and so forth. The same thing on the vertical uh, alignment, which is top to bottom, same options, top baseline, top, middle, so on and so forth. Let's pull this out so we can see some more parameters we can change. Now you can change the spacing for the characters, the word and the line also, the maximum width. You can also uh, create a Bezier curve and have the fonts travel along that curve by creating that curve and then clicking in that option for it to be applied to the text, which is cool. And the interesting thing about this add-on too is that it has a first animation and it also has a second animation. 
Now for the first animation, it has presets. The second one doesn't, which is kind of interesting. But uh, for the first uh, default animation, you have all your presets here, all your parameters here to change it. You can have it start from the left or the right or from a random position. Random seed means that it just changes. Basically, when, when the, the word seed is used in Blender, as I've explained before, it just means it gives it um, pretty much a different look um, randomly, so to speak. It's almost like saying random randoms in Blender. It'll just choose any just random position in your window and just start it from there, which is fine. You got a start frame, <clears throat> excuse me, and an end frame, uh, and an offset also. But let's check out some of these presets here. If we click in that window there, that slot, you can see scale, bounce, shrink, uh, slide in, drop, so on and so forth. It's got like about uh, 20 plus, I think, presets in here, which is not bad. But let's click on drop and see what that does. It bounces our text to the top. And when we press play, it drops down, which is cool. That's not bad at all. Now you can, you can change all those settings there. You, you could probably, probably be saying to yourself, well, if the first one has presets, well, how am I supposed to animate the second part? Now, all these options here for translate, scale, and rotates, also here, they're grayed out. Usually in Blender, when something's grayed out, it means it doesn't work. But this add-on is a bit different. To activate these settings here, just click on in the box, and it activates it. And now we've activated the rotation aspect of it. And let's see what that does. Let's press play and see what happens. Oh, now that's nice. Yeah. So this is not a bad one. And, and for all your, your rotation, uh, scale, and translate, you have all the uh, options there to change it um, on the easing, easing type, uh, where it starts from, where it ends, the offset, so on and so forth. So that's also uh, quite nice. And in order for you to, this is just an extra tip to throw in there. If you want to position your camera in front of your text, all you have to do is is uh, pretty much click on, like I said before, one, as I said initially, and then go to view, and then go down to align view, and then align active camera to view, click on that, and then you have your camera in front of your text. And we want to pretty, pretty much position this camera in front of our text. So just press G and X and move your mouse to position it in front of your text. And there you go. And that's uh, today's Blender Quick Tip. You can also create a timer for it if you want. But this is just an introduction into the add-on. This is not like an in-depth tutorial on it, but just an introduction to it. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And I hope you guys try it out for yourself just to see how it works. And it works pretty well. I'm really impressed with it myself. And once again, like and subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys in terms of watching the videos and liking them. And that really helps out quite a bit. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.